grandmas, grandpas, anyone who might be watching, my name is Mr. Elzy, and I am here to welcome you to a new way of doing school and learning. Today, we are going to learn how to use our very own Google Classroom. Classroom is a way of doing school that's right on your computer or your tablet. To learn how to use it, we are going to see a story about a student, a very tall student, who is using Google Classroom himself. This student's name is Gregory. Let's see how Gregory starts his day. Gregory starts his day by greeting his family members and eating a nice breakfast. After that, he's ready for the first part of his daily schedule. Mom, Dad, it's time for lunch and Now notice, the first thing Gregory did for school today was not grab his device. The first part of our day is going to be physical activity. When we move our bodies, it gets our brains ready to learn. Today, Gregory chose to walk his dogs. Maybe on other days, he'll go for a walk with his family. He might do jumping jacks inside. He might try some exercises from Coach Braxton, our PE teacher, or even some Go Noodle videos. Make sure, just like Gregory, you start your day with a little bit of exercise. That was a good walk. Now that Gregory is finished exercising, he is going to grab a sip of water to cool down, and after that, he's going to get his device and get logged on to Google Classroom. Now Gregory has a laptop. You may have a laptop or a different device, like a computer or a tablet or iPad. As long as your device has an internet connection, you're ready to go. After Gregory logs into his Wake ID portal, he chooses the icon that says Google Classroom. He may have more than one classroom on his screen. The classroom that Gregory needs is the classroom with his teacher's name. On the front page, he'll see new assignments. Today, for Gregory, it's Monday. On Mondays, Gregory has an assignment for Letterland and for Reading. Every Monday and Wednesday, you will do Letterland and reading in your Google Classroom. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, you will do math. Now you may see that your assignment has a video of a different teacher. Miss Hale always does Letterland videos and sends them to all the classes. Mr. Elzy always does the reading video and I will send them to every classroom too. Miss Ballard and Miss Robinson will be in charge of the math videos. No matter which teacher it is, it will still be in your own Google Classroom. When he logs into his Google Classroom, Gregory can see the assignment that his teacher has left for him. All he needs to do is click on it to get started. Now, he sees the activity. He'll click on it again. The speaker at the top will tell Gregory the directions. He clicks on it. It tells him to match the word to the picture. Now Gregory knows what to do. Hey, I know how to read that. In this activity, all Gregory had to do was listen to the directions and move the word with his mouse, or if it was an iPad, he could use his finger to move it. Sometimes your assignment might have you doing something else, like trying to type words yourself, or drawing a picture, or even watching a video or a story. 
it's important to check all of the slides and the entire assignment to make sure that you did the entire thing. All right, I'm finished. Now what do I do again? When you're ready to submit your work to your teacher, you'll usually find a button at the top that says Turn In. The Turn In button sends your work right to your teacher. If you forget to submit your work, your teacher may not know that you are finished with the assignment. Once you turn in your assignment, your teacher can see it and give you feedback. <laughs> feedback means that your teacher will tell you what you did great and what you might need to work on next time. The teachers will try to give you feedback for every assignment that you turn in. While Gregory is waiting for his feedback though, he's going to go to the next part of his day. Each day after his reading or math lesson, it's Gregory's read to self time or listen to reading time. Gregory can choose to find a quiet place to read independently. He may also log on to Seesaw and watch his teacher read a story. Gregory could also choose to read with a family member sometimes. We will have read to self or listen to reading for 15 minutes every day. Oh, the timer went off. Now what is it time for? After his reading time, Gregory will get back on his Google Classroom because now it's going to be time for science and social studies. Your science and social studies assignments will be coming from Ms. Plumhoff and Ms. Budronis. You will have science every Monday and Wednesday, and you'll have social studies every Tuesday and Thursday. Mom, look! For science, we get to see this really cool video about animals! To complete his science assignment, Gregory will do the same thing that he did for his reading assignment this morning. He's going to listen to all the parts of the directions in the video or in the speaker if he sees one. He's going to make sure he completes it, and then he's going to turn it in. For this assignment, Gregory had to say an animal that he likes. Now there are different ways for him to do that in a video that we'll see later, but today Gregory is going to try to type his sentence to tell the animal that he likes the best. Let's see how he does that. I space L I K E spells like I like dogs. D Where's the O? Oh, there it is. Og. I like dogs. When Gregory is finished, he will turn this in too so his teacher can see his work. Now Gregory is finished with all of his assignments for today. After he's finished with his assignments from his classroom, Gregory can choose to do specials in Google Classroom. Information will be coming soon from our specials teachers about what you can do for your specials time. Mom, I'm finished with school today! After school is over, Gregory eats his lunch. He's all finished with Google Classroom today, but he may receive some feedback later or find new activities on Seesaw. So now you know about your Google Classroom schedule on Monday, through Thursday. But what about Friday? Friday will be a special day where you can choose to review some activities that you've already done. You might play on Dreambox or Raz Kids, or your teacher might be sending you a video or an invitation to have a video meeting. You should still get on your Google Classroom like normal on Friday mornings. But sometimes there may be something new, and sometimes there may not be. We'll just have to wait and see. So now you know all about how to log in and use your Google Classroom. Have you tried logging in by yourself yet? After you finish this video, log on, and you are going to find a practice activity. Don't forget to listen to the instructions or watch the video if you see one and then turn the activity in when you're done. Your teacher will get a notification after you've done it. 
So thanks for watching and check back tomorrow for another informational video and practice activity. It's Google Classroom, ready for Google Classrooms. It's a brand new way of learning. Google Classroom, ready for Google Classrooms. It's a brand new way of learning. Logging in, logging in, huh. checking my assignments. Huh.